Disrespected, degraded and abused over and over again just to gain millions of views. It's a shame we've subdued to a definition of beauty which is so misconstrued as we judge each other's looks off of Facebook likes. Instagram pictures to filter off what we really look like. See, we are so obsessed with our outside, we have slowly lost sight. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and your girl Fanny Lungo. And we are Fanny and Jesse. So, right about now, we're going to do another reaction. And before we get into the reaction, guys, we want to thank everybody out there for. Uh, subscribing to our channel, you the realest MVP, and um, another thing also, we want to thank everybody who's been watching our videos. You the realest, and if you want to get no notified whenever we post our video, just make sure to go and hit that notification bell right next to the subscription button down there. So right about now, we're gonna to react to the greatest woman spoken word. Who suggested this one? Um, he or she goes by the name Fees88. You're the realest MVP for giving us this reaction. So without any further ado, let's get to hear or listen or see. You know, something must be wrong when almost every single song has sex as its basis. When rap stars get famous after making lyrics that are shameless When a woman is expected to sleep with a man who doesn't even know what her name is And when artists are paid to degrade the very woman that have made them To the point they are nothing more than pieces of plastic That we can dispose of once they are no longer attractive It's sickening and sadistic that this world's become so misogynistic And you can call me unrealistic, but just listen to the statistics 7 in 10 men view porn while over 75 million are addicted 68 million requests a day for pornographic pictures making 1 in 4 searches sexually related It's like nobody even knew she existed until she got naked Degraded and abused over and over again just to gain millions of views It's a shame we've subdued to a definition of beauty which is so misconstrued as we judge each other's looks off of Facebook likes Instagram pictures to filter off what we really look like see we are so obsessed with our outside we have slowly lost sight of who we really are in real life I mean it's sad to see so many teens lose their self-esteem Looking at these magazines thinking they have to look like what they see Please, you are worth much more than a 2D image on a screen You are a living, breathing human being If only you knew what you really mean Just look in your history books and begin to read Of all the girls in the world who are capable to achieve And you will surely see with certainty Females like Fatim Al Fihri, who opened the first ever university, Rufaid Al Aslamiya, the first nurse to perform surgery, and Haisha bint Abi Bakr, the greatest female scholar in eternity. It's a shame you probably haven't even heard of these great female prodigies. Honestly, we don't need to give up our modesty in order to be successful. For you are worth much more than a commodity that is sexual You have so much more potential if only you knew your worth You could be like the greatest of all women to have walked this earth Like Mary, the mother of Jesus Chosen by Allah to be an example for the believers A woman who stood strong even when she was abused Falsely accused and ridiculed for things she'd never ever do So it didn't really matter when there was nobody else beside her For she knew that God was Ar razaq and her ultimate provider And she had a trust in Him alone just like Asiya, the wife of Fir'aun A woman who was brave and courageous Stood up for what was right and didn't let anybody change this A woman who was fearless And laughed in the face of death For she gave up the riches of this life For a palace in the next 
Next up Khadija, the mother of the believers, a wealthy merchant who had nurtured the Prophet for over 25 years, his first wife, the love of his life and the mother of his kids. She was the first to believe in him when nobody else ever did. She just is beyond any words that can make you understand. So much so that even Allah sent her his salam. She was grand and Allah assured her. Just like her daughter, Fatima, the master of all women in paradise. A woman who would shine so bright she was nicknamed as Zahra, the splendid one with the most generous of hearts. A woman who gave up so much of her food, she had no choice but to fast. She would fight on behalf of her father, even as a little girl. And such are the examples of the greatest woman in the entire world. And it had nothing to do with how they looked, but for who they truly were. So ignore the standard of success defined by society. When God has said that the best of mankind are those who have piety, regardless of your shape, your color, or your race. For God does not look at your bodies, nor does He look at your face. Rather, He looks towards your heart and checks your faith. So at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what the people say or who they think you are, when you could be like the greatest of all women in the eyes of Allah. The greatest woman. Wow, all right. What do you think? Is this the guy we reacted to last time? Yes, the same guy who did the meaning of life, spoken word. I like how clean the video was, and I like that he's bringing, um, he's talking about reality. Yeah. And relating to these other things. Mm -hmm. Like how a woman is perceived, what society makes yeah. a woman now, and how they should act. Like it doesn't matter, you don't have to change who you are, you don't have to be naked to be noticed. It's yeah. The other good things that you do that have you noticed. Exactly, exactly. You don't and I like to. how he brought up, he even mentioned Mary yeah, and all these other Jesus people. And this other Islam uh, that was, women. I've actually never heard of all these great women. Yeah, even, even, even in Africa we have great women. Yeah, but I feel like it doesn't matter whether Africa, mm. whatever the case, women are just put aside. Yeah, of course, of course, like they are what do you call the nice name? Um, over sexualized. You could say that, but even yeah, if they I mean, do great things, it's yeah. rare that you hear them. But at least he said, read your history books to find out about these things. Yeah, I mean, there's so much that women have done out there, but they're not put down in history books because they, they are down in history books, but it's not the, the, the ones that we read nowadays in schools. Because I've never come across any book in high school or primary level that talks much about women. I only, it's only, uh, okay, in my country, Kenya, we talked about Mekatigili Omenza and um, the lady from Agikuyu community whereby men used to carry her as a queen. And you know how they carry a queen or king and those uh, whatever things, like carriers and stuff like that. I mean, she was worshiped like like a god or whatever at that particular moment. And shout out to this guy right here, he's the realest MVP. He met from the great women that you learned about and what you mm -hmm. learned from this guy, what do you think? Anything else you picked up from the video? I mean I picked some to the beginning that was really amazing. Like these rappers man they, they I don't know why they like I don't know is it is it a thing that when you rap and then you put a naked lady over there twerking and stuff like that? Is that a thing or it's something? Actually, lower I mean, women. Yeah, exactly. It, it lowers, lowers the, the lyrics. It lowers, or something else. Yeah, it lowers women so much. I mean, it's so shameful. I mean, the society has come to. And you uh, find women are dancing to those songs. Yeah, yeah, you find women on Instagram. Everybody's out there just twerking, dancing, and stuff like making making fun out of everything. But at the end of it, like. Um, in the long run, you lower your, 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 your dignity and stuff like that. I mean, it's not supposed to be like that. We, we, we're supposed to respect women to an extent of not telling them come to our videos and I want you to talk. But again, the society has made it look like it is entertainment. So even women have, a, like, those women have accepted that to be part of entertainment. And again, 
this money driven type of thing you know someone tells you i'm going to give you this amount of money i want you to twerk in this video it's gonna be hell yeah let me just come in and and do it you get it i mean it's just it's really hard to it's really hard to now like eradicate such kind of manner because it is like everywhere like it's just over of us saturated on instagram i mean you can never go on instagram and find you know when those days when when men were really sending you like you know what can you please send us nudes and stuff like that but yes nowadays you don't have to do that you just have to go to instagram and just everything is just there i mean it's so sad i mean it's but so then at the end of the day I mean, you men are still following most pages you cannot follow them of course yeah we have a choice to unfollow them but again they are sisters we yeah them. i mean there are few, sure that there are few men out there who go there and bash those women but again, do you know what's gonna happen? But then bashing you know someone what's gonna... doesn't make the message sink in. There's a certain way of talking to someone. Exactly, but even if you do whatever you want to do, these people are rigid. You get it? Since that they think like they've made it in life by doing such kind of thing, they'll tell you, you know what? You don't put food on the table for me. That's so why I'm I don't saying, care. You get I it? Follow them. Be an example yourself. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. Unfollowing is a is a good cause. When you unfollow, you're making them a person less popular. Yes. No, it doesn't mean that. It doesn't. It doesn't mean your one unfollow makes someone unpopular. You get it. Of course, when yeah, when when, when like yeah when you follower. yeah when you, when you unfollow like yes, a, one doesn't make a difference, but you yourself are making a difference. Of course, of course, you of don't course. Have not all of you have to follow and follow in thousands. Of course, it's true. It's still making a difference. But it should be some sort of a campaign whereby people go out there and say, you know, guys, let's unfollow. Because trust me, you can't tell me if one person unfollows. If one person That's unfollows, so, you know, like 10 people follow back. I don't think a campaign like that will ever of course yeah it would because that's an agenda that's an agenda at home getting your phone and then following yeah there's some people that see those things like he said about the pornography things and whatever they do and also you see that they're liking you better say so that you can look at it and also it starts from those women out there who post such kind of pictures see all is easy for men to no i'm saying i'm saying I'm not blaming Everyone anyone. Exactly it's what? exactly every. I'm saying you. You said that. Then, I was like, it's, it's about fine. Women. It's about women, yes. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Because we society should... has painted this picture of women. We're supposed to be half naked on Instagram. For us no. to get followers. For us no, to get no, 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 no. One, no one, no one said that. No one said I'm that. I'm saying it. That I'm was, not saying that was, said it. Since, since when saying, Instagram was introduced. Society has uh -huh. made it seem like we have to be this type of way exactly. to get likes and views. Exactly. For me to be famous, I have to speak exactly. down. I have to sleep around. Okay, so what's That's the solution to us that? What's the solution to us that? Don't entertain men, on men, side. two things here. Men, stop following such kind of antics, and women too, stop posting such kind of pictures. It's as simple as that. If you want to move forward, let's just help each other. It's as simple as that. I mean, this this is a nice video idea. I mean, really, really amazing. Shout out to the guy who uh, did the spoken one. That was really amazing. I like the visuals too. Uh, really good, and the message was just articulate. I think um, it also helps. Because some people have so uh, low self-esteem, even if you're covered up, you're still fine. Yeah. But it helps when you compliment them, not just to make them feel good. Yeah. Yeah. But again, it's, it's tough. It's tough, man. The way the society is going now, it's just crazy. It's really tough. It's really, it's really hard. I mean, for us to start eradicating from that nature. I mean, it's so hard. But anyway, it can be done with just one single uh, button of probably not following and if you want if also unfollowing or whatever the situation anyway guys if you feel like you like this video the better way is give us a thumbs up and don't forget to go down our comment section tell us exactly what you feel about our reaction let us know what you feel about the greatest woman spoken word and give us your uh your views on the on the comment below and the most important thing guys don't forget to subscribe to our channel the more you keep on subscribing they will give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better better content and last but not the least we we'll see you in the next video and peace out